So when you arrived here in America, how was it like? What did you see that's different about America? Um, full of white people. <laughs> uh -huh. No, it was only in the airport because um, we were like um, this one guy, this one white guy. He was he was um, like because I made a mistake like for putting the fin wrong finger in the fingerprint. So he acted like um, he was discriminating me because I had like this thick accent. <laughs> And um, the way how how I dress, but then I didn't know about the rights here, so I didn't know that time, and I didn't report him to the police. Uh, well, how about school? How did you handle school, knowing that most people speak English, but you barely knew how to speak English, right? Yeah. Um. So they had they have this um, one program. So I actually went here in TRP, Policida, like middle school, and they actually have um, like a program for English as a second language. And what you do is you learn more about the language, like how you pronounce this and that. Was there anyone, any classmate making fun of your accent? No, because um, we're all we're all equal. Like we all have big accents. <laughs> oh, so when you arrived here, it was full of Filipinos. No, some Mexicans. Some Mexicans. So it, yeah, in the class. That, in the class. class. So it wasn't all white as you expected. No. no it was um, diverse. Diverse. You were, were you shocked? Not really, <laughs> because I know some parts of America have a majority of black people. <laughs> <laughs> it is the land of the freedom. <laughs> all right. <laughs> um. So no one made fun of you at all because of your accent? Not until high school. What about high school? Um, like, because I advanced, like, from the second language to another, like, it's like, um, what do you call that? Like, um, uh, you advance you. to a uh, regular you're... English, oh, uh -huh. regular English class. And I have these um, people who who's fluent in English, and then this one guy like if he fools around with me like uh, he called me a fog. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, not in English class, like in my science class. But it's okay though. That's the past. I moved on. And who was the guy? So they can see this. RJ Abwin. <laughs> he, he was cool though. <laughs> okay. Um, no, since you arrived here, you know, you didn't have friends that much when you first arrived here because you're new. Mm -hmm. So, what did you do when you had no school? When after school, what did you do? You just went home? Yeah, most likely. What did you do at home? You just watched TV, TV but. Did you I watch, watch um, TFC? TFC? Um, yeah. yeah. And GMA. GMA. Pinoy TV. <laughs> so, so you were really into those Filipino shows, cause. Um. Yes. Okay. Yeah. How did you meet friends here then? If you couldn't speak English. Um. There was um. A lot of Filipino guys who can. No. <laughs> a lot of Filipino people that um that can speak by language like um, Tagalog and English fluently and I talked to CJ <laughs> and Wait, who? who? CJ Duarte <laughs> and um, I met him and became friends until now like five years, six years Cool So, um <clears throat> What's the big difference with the United States and the Philippines, like, like, any difference at all? It's hot in the Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> and the, since it's cold here, you mostly just had a shirt, huh? Shirts, shorts. 
Yes. Since it was on the Philippines? Yes. But my uncle, they went, they went to go shopping for me to buy my jackets. Uh -huh. So when you arrived here, you know, most, peop most Filipinos think that America, once you arrive here, you will be rich, you will be successful. It's true. true. It's true. So when you arrived here, was it hard, hard in money base wise, hard in, yeah, just hard in money base wise? Yes, yes, because um, when I arrived here, I wasn't really going to work. What I was going to do was go to school and go to college, finish college and get a job. But then it was hard for my mom to um, get an opportunity because um, there was um, like prerequisites. Like um, like you had to take these tests to, in order for you to get in, in the job. So. And what's your mom's job now? Oh, she's a registered nurse. Uh, How about you? Are you going to finish your college still? Yes. And you're going to try to be a... Nurse. Nurse. You're not going to go to the back to the Philippines and go to college? You're just going to stay here? No. My mom was suggesting that, but... I was like, nah, nah, I'm not going back there. <laughs> so you want to stay in America? Yes, because there's more opportunity. <laughs> okay, have you been taking this opportunity so far? Like, what has changed? What, how did America change the old Joey in the Philippines to now? Uh, I became more responsible, especially... Alright, <laughs> never mind.